Today you find us in the Yorkshire Dales National Park and the village of Malham, where our plan is to complete a circular walk around the area, taking in the waterfall at Janet's Foss, making a slight detour to Gordale Scar, and then on to the limestone pavements of Malham Cove. Malham is a popular tourist destination and has a stream, Malham Beck, running through its centre. The village is mentioned in the Doomsday Book and has been a settlement for at least a thousand years. Facilities here are very limited, but the dog-friendly Lister Arms and Buck Inn offer fine food and accommodation. We begin our walk behind the smithy, where the path crosses a clapper bridge and follows a section of the Pennine Way downstream alongside Malham Beck. For the next 350 yards, the level way marked path runs through open fields and parallel to the stream until it arrives at a double kissing gate. Here the Pennine Way branches off to the right, while our route to Janet's Foss bears left past a barn. The way ahead remains flat and generally firm underfoot and it's essential that dogs are kept strictly under control along this section as the neighbouring sheep are easily disturbed, especially during the lambing season. Up ahead a second barn marks our arrival at the National Trust owned wood. After passing through a kissing gate, we enter a delightful section where the path runs alongside Gordale Beck. For years, people have been hammering coins into a fallen tree stump here and making wishes to Janet, Queen of the Fairies. After passing under this limestone outcrop, the way ahead continues to rise gently through a wooded ravine and soon we arrive at Janet's Foss. Foss being an old Norse term for waterfall. According to local legend, Janet was queen of the fairies and lived in a cave behind the waterfall. The cave was formed by the limestone bedrock being dissolved and eroded by the action of the water. Continuing our walk, the path climbs up to the left of the waterfall and passes through a kissing gate and enters a lane that leads to Gordale Bridge. As the road bends round to the right, follow the footpath sign for Gordale Scar. Initially, the path passes through Gordale Scar campsite as it runs alongside Gordale Beck. The hidden gorge of Gordale Scar is a narrow canyon towered on either side by sheer walls of rock hundreds of feet high. This impressive natural feature was formed on the Middle Craven Fault, where torrents of glacial meltwater have carved it deeper and deeper over thousands of years to create the impressive gorge we see today. After admiring Gordale Scar, retrace your steps back along the path to Gordale Bridge and pass through the Kissing Gate following the footpath sign for Malham Cove. 
the path heads to the corner of a dry stone wall and continues to rise steadily along its left hand side. Passing through another kissing gate, head diagonally right across the next field towards some stone steps and a gate in the corner of the field. The path runs alongside the wall and rises steadily, all the while offering stunning views over the rolling dales. Eventually we arrive at a kissing gate that opens out onto Malham Rakes Lane. Turn right at this point and cross the stile on the far side of the road. After heading over a slight rise the path slowly climbs up onto Sheriff Hill and then drops down to reveal Malham Cove. Top of the cove is a large area of limestone pavement that has been eroded to produce cracks, known as grikes, while the blocks of limestone are called clints. The sheltered and humid atmosphere between the cracks creates a microclimate that provides a perfect habitat for ferns and other fauna. From the cliff edge there are sweeping views over Malham Dale towards Malham Village. Once across the pavement, turn left to head down the steep man-made steps to the valley floor. The waters emerging from the base of the cove come from smelt mill sinks three quarters of a mile away. When you get a little further away from the cove, you can then appreciate its sheer size, over 260 feet high and almost 1,000 feet wide. The route back to Malham once again joins part of the Pennine Way, as it rises up to run alongside Cove Road before dropping down into the village and hopefully a welcome drink in one of its two pubs. If you have enjoyed this walk, please click the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications of new videos.